Do you agree or you disagree with President Jacob Zuma when he says, in this country there is no democracy, there is no such a thing as democracy. In fact, he goes on to say that, uh, yes, democracy is what we're supposed to be having, but what is democracy? And I'm like, yeah. what is President Zuma saying now? He's like, yeah, what is democracy? And then he goes on to say, listen, democracy defined, especially in Zulu, it says, Intando Yening. Meaning, it's, okay, wait, it's by the people, it is by the people, for the people, uh, yeah, something around those lines. It is by the people, for the people, uh, and I forgot the, 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 the nice way of saying it. In other words, people decide if it's democracy. People decide what they want. And people decide what they don't want. What Zuma said here, you might think, ah, man, nah, man, we have democracy. And I was like, oh, wait, but before I can even proceed, I need to, I'm going to play you a video, Gacha Jacobs, I'm speaking those things, but before I can do so, let me marinate your mind and say this. If you think you have got democracy, then think about this. You vote a political party with because they have given you uh, or they are selling that political party using a specific person, right? Like, you vote the ANC because the ANC said to you, we have Ramaphosa. Remember that Ramaphosa when he was sold? He was sold as a billionaire, a billionaire that has money, a billionaire that is not corrupt. So, yeah, man, he... It turns out that was the worst decision ever, man, that the corruption that was under Ramaphosa is worse than corruption under Zuma. Uh, it's not me. It's uh, the articles that can prove that. But that's what the ANC was selling to us, that he's a billionaire, he's not going to steal, blah, 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 blah. It turns out he's a worse steal, <laughs> he's a worse thief than all the other thieves. But after voting for Ramaphosa, then Ramaphosa decides who should be the public protector, who should be the, the chief justice, who should be the ministers, who should... You know what I'm saying? If it's democracy, like come to think of it, if it is really democracy, why don't you vote for things that you want? Why that you vote one person into power and that person decides... On your behalf, wait, pause in there. While you are pausing in there, please do this. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people, because to subscribe it is free, to like the video it is free, to comment in the comment section below it is free of charge, to click the notification bell it is free of charge, to share this video it is free of charge, to watch this video until the end it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean, come on, to watch the ads, it's free of charge, and that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financially contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as little as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the Super Thanks Party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? will bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed okay i'm about to give you the video but just meanwhile just think about this right then you suddenly have no power now he decides who's the minister of police, who's the minister of what. What if you don't want the person? You want another person. Like, come to think of it. 
if really there was democracy, don't you think that people would have voted uh, maybe Malema in this position, Floyd in this position, um, Zungula in this position, my man in that position? You know, don't you think that if really there was democracy, don't sorry, don't you think that things would have been fair? You go to MK party and you say, oh, I want Zuma, I make it as a president, but I want Malema as a deputy president. Uh, I want uh, Zungula as a minister of finance. I think that's democracy. The rest is democracy, but basically it is autocracy. It's not democracy. Ah, I know. You say, ah, but bongs. No, really, come to think of it. It's autocracy, it's not democracy. But it is sold as democracy, but it's not democracy. It's autocracy. Okay? Well, listen to Jacob Zuma say, look, speaking here. I am maturity. Democracy, here is the democracy talking about democracy. I don't want to say something that is democracy. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Partly because in, 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 the, in our language, in Zulu, says, Uma it democracy, Mungo so in Tandu in me. Not so. In Soto, what you say? Democracy in Soto. Shabbat Shabbat. <laughs> but if I say this to the traditional leaders, I totally agree. That's what we agreed on. But the reality is that people who make the laws is not a majority. It's a minority in parliament. Many of you here the law. This is the law. I'm saying this because my traditional leader, who is a son to me, called me one day to say, why was this law passed? Why didn't we know? Because they're not in parliament. It's a reality. They're not in parliament. We only do the majority on elections. On elections, we all go. That's the majority. In Parliament, representative of the majority is not a majority. <laughs> but they are let me not say it. So the meeting is not so so cool. Okay, so let's proceed again. Um, there are many things to see that people don't have democracy. You know, when I, when I, when I listen to Jacob Zuma saying, speaking about this, and I was like, yeah, he's got a point, he's right. You know why? Because, come to think of this, there are laws in this country. Let's leave the fact that whether they are bad or good, there are laws that are bad that are made in this country. Let's start here. Do you think if people were governing this country, if it was democracy, do you think people would have look, done, look, you remember that Ramaphosa signing the law about BE? Uh, scrapping, they're trying to do away with the PE. Do you remember Ramaphosa signing that law? If it was the will of the people, by the people, and for the people, do you think people would have agreed to the PE being removed? Just to name one. All right, let's let's ask you about probably two laws that you'll think uh, maybe they, they, they benefit you. The NHI. It's supposed to be the will of the people, by the people, and for the people. But, hmm, the Bella Bill. It's supposed to be the will of the people, by the people, and for the people. Because people shall govern, so they say. But wait a minute. How much, how much knowledge do you have about those laws? If it's the will of the people, by the people, and for the people. If 
that's the case, how much knowledge do you have? How much participation does it require for them to make a law? Don't appreciate when they are making laws that seeks to benefit you and you think it's democracy. Democracy shouldn't work that way. They should consult you whether bad or good. Should be consulted. And thorough consultation. I'm not just talking about, wait, let me show you something again. Maybe you don't know what I'm saying. What happened to the land without land uh, expropriation of land without compensation? Didn't you participate? If indeed you, it is the will of the people, by the people and for the people. Didn't you participate and say that uh, we want the land? Land expropriation without compensation should be passed into law. Didn't you vote that? You did. Right? But if there's democracy in this country, why that has not come into effect? Uh, I'm, 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 I'm just asking. Do not fight me. I'm the messenger here. I'm just happen, I mean, I, I just happen to think about it as, uh, as Uzuma was speaking about it. I'm like, huh? Yeah, man, that, that's, a, that's a point. If it is the will of the people, by the people and for the people, while still there is dragation and dragging and everything concerning the land, the expropriation of land without compensation, why? Remember, the people have spoken. Why does it look like people only speak during voting and after voting the will of the people for the local, the will of the people by the people and for the people only ends there? Could it be that people are sold a delusional concept of what, uh, a delusional concept of what democracy is or should be, but in the reality, wait a minute, you are actually an autocratic country. Well, let me tell you, now there are three governing styles. Number one, it is theocracy. Number two, it is autocracy. Number three, it is democracy. Wait, what is theocracy? Theocracy is what is where it is Christians. Christians are governed what look by what we call it theocracy. Theocracy is when God speaks and people listen. And God decide what is good for his people and what is bad for his people. And whatever God has decided uh, as the right and the wrong things, then that remain or that becomes wrong and right. Autocracy is also next to theocracy. Take a look at what happened in Kingdom Swat. He speaks and everybody listens. The, 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 the autocracy operates more or less like theocracy. Except the fact that people, there are humans who are driven by their greediness and tends to do things their own way. Wait. Then there's what we call it democracy. Democracy is when people decide what is good for them and what is bad for them. Whether that which they have decided is against the Bible or against even their own constitution. But once people decide that this is bad for us and this is good for us, no matter what the constitution is saying, people have decided because it is the will of the people, by the people, and for the people. So if people decide that our Saturday is going to be on Wednesday and our Wednesday is going to be on Saturday because it is the will of the people, by the people, and for the people, that must be changed to accommodate what people want. That is when people are governed by democracy. Here's what theocracy does. Sorry, guys. Uh, let me get something. You know, I'm just getting warm up here. Uh, here is what the, look, what 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 uh, theocracy will do? I'll give an example about it. God comes to Moses. Oh, in the days of 
uh, in the days of Abraham. Do you remember that Abraham, when his son Isaac wanted to get married, he married his own relative, uh, Rebecca. Isaac was married to Rebecca. Rebecca was uh, was from the, 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 the family of Abraham. In fact, you know what I'm saying? That is back in the days. But then listen, that God has allowed. Then the very same God decides that mm -mm, it is wrong. Now it is wrong. Then he says to Abraham, no one must marry his or her family. You marry a stranger, full stop, it ends there. Because theocracy is what local theocracy is based on what God said, and whatever God says, Christians follows that. Whether they feel whether that, that is better or good, because God said it and so it shall be, it ends there. It is the will of the Lord that prevail. That is theocracy. Unfortunately, at these days we've got fake Christians, I myself included. Sometimes we just do things because we wanna we feel like we wanna do things, but we don't even abide by what theocracy says. Theocracy is when we live by the dictate of God. Contrary to democracy, democracy is what is not happening in South Africa. There's no democracy. I've never seen a country. In fact, the, the studies have revealed that the country that is closest to democracy is America, not South Africa. Because at least they get to choose a lot of things. They have got a lot of options. Not only are they going to choose uh, Hillary or Donald Trump, but they're also going to choose, they're also going to have a lot of options to choose this and this and this and that. Yeah, yes. You are only choosing a president and you're telling me, it's democracy. We are living in a democracy. Well, let me tell you something. Something that people people can get look. People tend to forget this. Let me remind you something. Wait. Do you remember that when the law was passed about people of same sex marriage? Do you know that a lot of people did not agree with that? And it's a fact. Do you know that? And look, that's why they had to take an initiative of educating people to accept the LGBTQI. That's why they made it a point that each and every program on television, whether Zalo, Generation, you know, all these programs, there are two things that commonly you will find there. You will find a traditional Sangoma and you will find an, a member of an LGBTQI. It, there was a point where whether you watch Uzal, whether you watch Generation, whether you watch Skim Sam, all programs that you also piece that you see, you will see that. But here's the point. The point is, back in the days, remember that people used to, uh, used to you look, know, uh, the members of that uh, community used to be killed a lot. Do you remember that? Because people did not accept that. So what it tells, look, it tells you that the law that was made then or that was passed into law, right, it was not by the people, right? It was by a certain few individuals that decided that this must be accepted. However, the problem with that is if you are living in a democracy, no one's right must be violated. And let me prove again democracy fighting Christianity, fighting theocracy. Um, if I'm not mistaken, there's a law that was passed by Ramaphosa. And that law says, if you are a pastor, you have no right to refuse marrying a, ma a couple who belongs into the LGBTQI, even if you don't believe that. But the law says, no, nope, you have no right to refuse marrying them. There was a debate when that law was passed. Ha ha. We love the people, by the people, and for the people. What did people say about that? Who came up with that? Where? There are many of these laws, man. There are, that's why I'm quoting ones that people... Uh, there are laws that got passed without people really noticing that there are laws that got passed. Uh, recently, there's been a law that was passed as well. Because prior to elections, Ramaphosa was signing a lot of laws, if you noticed. The major one that he signed just prior to elections was NHI. 
But wait, just relax. Just relax. I want to ask you this question. It is the will of the people, by the people, for the people. Are people governing or other few individuals are governing? I'm not disputing, remember I'm from theocracy, so I don't dispute what people, of, what people who belong into democracy will do, but I'm just saying that as a member of society, there are things that worries me. People have lost the, the definition of things. They don't understand what is the meaning of this and this and that. They just say it because it's nice. It's very nice to say it anyway. Let's leave it here. I'll see you guys on the next one. But until such a time, please take care.